Um, if reelected or elected, would you limit the number of terms you serve? And secondly, with Senator Stephen DeDore considering a run for Attorney General, there is a possibility that Haverhill will have an open Senate seat. Will you commit to staying in Haverhill as mayor for two years if elected in November and that seat becomes open? Well, the first part, no, I will not agree to term limits. Uh, the best, every candidate that I can think of, I don't want to mention any names and get myself in trouble, who's voluntarily agreed to term limits has broken his term limits pledge and said, well, the public has demanded that I stay. These so-called voluntary term limits don't mean a thing. Mayors are subject to term limits. Every two years, they're called elections. Setting aside term limits means they're taking away your right to vote. If you wanted to vote for Ted Kennedy, if his health had uh, stayed, a lot, stayed and he were able to do it, you should be allowed to do that. As far as a uh, Senate seat, I'm committed to uh, being mayor, remaining as mayor. I love the job as mayor. I said today, they're going to have to pry me out of the office. I love what I'm doing. I get up every day. I'm excited to do that. And uh, I'll be happy to remain as mayor if the voters are re-elect me. <laughs> and about the state Senate, or the possible, sorry, state seat opening up? Well, first of all, I don't think it will open up. Uh, I think Steve does a great job, and he'll remain, uh, uh, I hope, as our state senator. I'm hoping that he does. But I will remain as mayor. Mm -hmm.